Ladies, welcome to another beautiful day. So today we are going to be talking about menstruation. So how many of you are the privileged ones to have had that conversation with your mothers or any elderly female in the house? I'd love to hear whatever your conversation was like in the comment section. But for me and others that did not have that conversation, we had to, you know, learn every other month or every other day. We had to read books that were available to us and, you know, just take every month, every day as it, you know, it came. My story of how I had to learn through or go through every other month prompted me to always remember that I was going to, you know, have that conversation with my daughters. I was going to, you know, teach her, talk to her about uh, about menstruation, letting her know that con uh, menstruation is not a sin, menstruation is not a crime, menstruation is not a punishment. It's not a cause or anything that would make her, you know, have that low self-esteem. Because at the time when you are menstruating and you do not have that conversation with your mother or any lady, it's safe to say that you will be thinking that you are the only one who is going through that you know that predicament and most times you are going to be afraid to even tell your parents that such a thing is happening to you so you know based off what i went through i made myself that promise that i was going to you know have that conversation with my daughter so guys you're welcome to another beautiful day my name is obinje good morning afternoon evening depending the time of the day that you might be watching this video you're welcome to another promising video where we talk about things that relate to love life marriage business finance and you know family in general so please if you want to be a part of this beautiful family all you need to do is just subscribe to the channel turn on your post notification give this video a thumbs up and please share this video so that a lot of people get to join in the conversation so guys you're welcome back and i said i was going to be telling you guys my own story about you know how i joined it into menstruation without any form of you know guidance by anybody so there was this particular day, April, I'm not too certain about the day again, it was April 1995, I'd gone to bed and woke up the following day and before we would do any other thing, my sister, my elder sister, my younger brother and I, we were playing around the house and my cousin who was living with us at that time called me and told me I should do a 360 for her. When I did a 360, she spoke in our local dialect telling my mother that I was stained at my back. And of course, my mother was like, what did you say? And called me. And when I came, my mother told me I should also do that 360. And when I did the 360, she told me I should go have my bath. And when I'm done, I should come and meet her in her room. While I was having my bath, I remember clearly my mother was speaking to my father on the phone, telling him that I, um, Oche had started her menstruation. You see, I was in the bedroom having my bath and I was like, what is menstruation? What is menstruation? And something clicked in my mind. About a year or two before that year, my elder sister got stained at her back from school and her friends, my friends and I that used to all go home together, when we saw that, you know, map of blood on her gown, we were all scared because we thought she had sat on nail. So we hurriedly left school to go home. And, you know, after that day, if I asked her, she would just say it was nothing serious, nothing serious. So when I was in the bedroom having my bath and I heard my mother telling my daddy that I started my menstruation, it clicked that could that have been what happened to my sister. See, I was kind of angry and um, not so angry because I felt that if something like that happened, then my mother should have called me. But years have passed, so I don't really remember what, you know, how my emotions where again all i know is that when i came out she gave me um, it was always sanitary pad we used to use that time she gave me she told me i should get my panties and she you know wore it for me she well, no, she laid it on the pants and told me that this is how i should be you know doing it and that every other month i was going to be seeing my period now one other thing that i remember very well which shaped my your should i say my sexuality for a long time is the fact that my mother told me that i am a woman now guys at the time i started my menstruation i was just 11 years of age and that is me being told that i am a woman <laughs> and i'm like have i finished being a young girl 
and how fast did I grow from being a young girl into a woman that I'm being told that I am a woman if anybody touches me on my body I was going to get pregnant I was not told I was not informed I was not given any knowledge about how to get pregnant and I became scared I didn't want any man to touch me now that's a story for another day so guys you see with that one minute you know information I got there and I had to learn every other thing about menstruation I'm talking about the emotions I'm talking about the mental I'm talking about the physical I'm talking about the hygiene I had to start learning it on my own it informed my decision about preparing my daughter or daughters for menstruation because I did not want a situation whereby they will be ill-informed about menstruation I did not want a situation whereby my daughter will be battling some kind of you know insecurities on a day when she starts her her menses I did not want a situation whereby given the opportunity her menstruation was to start somewhere far from home then she would run to someone else to you know educator these things happen and so what how did i go about educating my daughter like i said my period started when i was 11 years and over the years i've realized and i have seen that not everyone starts their menstruation at the age of 10 or 11. i, I if i remember clearly my elder sister said she started at the age of 14. so it made me realize that there isn't any time frame as to when you is going to start your own you know menstruation there is no set time that when that all girls all young girls will start at the age of 10 or 11 and i'm like okay so if i started at the age of 11 my elder sister says she started at the age of 14 and friends say 12 uh, 13 some even say 10 i now sat and told myself that oh there is a possibility that my daughter might not necessarily start at the age of 11. Now, I'm, I used my first daughter because she is the one who has started her menstruation. My second daughter is, has not yet started. But the good thing is that when I was talking to the senior, once in a while, I used to chip into the younger because kids are growing you know, way too fast for their age at this time. So I started educating her about her menstruation at the age of nine because I felt that it could start at any point in time and I did not want her to be taken on her ways. So how did I go about it? Now because I understand that she's a small child, most of the things that have to do with you know menstruation, the terminologies, they might be too big for her. So I tried as much as possible to use child friendly words to let her you know grab in, uh, and in the process of grasping, I'm not going to overburden or oversaturate or put some kind of fear in her mind because I'm going to be talking about you, you know, uh, men menstruating every month. So I tried as much as possible to let her know that something like this happens. And you see, I, they know pampas, kids know pampas because most of them have younger ones. So there is a kind of relationship between pampas and your sanitary pad so sometimes i show her that this is mommy's own pampas and once in a month i have to wear pampas at that early stage she's always asking at that her early stage when i used to talk about it she used to ask why do i have to wear pampas every day when i, I don't pee on my body and i don't pull her on her on my body rather and i'm telling i i, I remember telling her that time that yes i do not do any of that but there is something else that mommy does every other month. So I'm like, okay, you have an injury on your body, right? And you bring out blood. So technically, mommy brings out blood every other month. So she's like, but well, at that time she's like, what do I mean? Isn't is it not some kind of illness or all of that? And I'm like, no. So as the years start to go by, I started, you know, letting her know that as a woman, you have the rare ability to give birth to a child. A man can do that, except you, the woman. And for that to happen, there are processes and there are stages. And the most important stage to get to that level is that you must menstruate every other month. And this is when I start to tell her, or rather I started telling her that for you to be able to give birth, there are stages and there are processes. And the, should I say, the introduction into it is that you are going to menstruate so it gets to a stage in your life when you are going to menstruate 
menstruate, excuse me. Now she was, she once asked me at what age was she going to menstruate and I'm like, girlfriend, I do not know, but I know when I started mine and of course I can't use my own body to judge your body. So what we are going to do is that we are going to be prepared and most times I'll go online, I'll tell her, well, let's read about it, let's read about the, the, the woman's reproductive system, let's know why you have to menstruate, let's know, you know, how many days you might need to menstruate in a month, we need to know, I know it, it might sound cumbersome, but like I said, I was not, you know, you know introduced into that conversation i was not told that something like that happens in a woman's life and i wanted to disabuse that idea that i will be menstruating because i might have committed a crime it's easy for a child to think that that's a punishment it's easy to for a child to think that he or uh, she rather is caused it's easy for her to think that i'm the only one who is, who is menstruating because these are conversations that are not openly had these are conversations that are not even had so if you don't have that conversation with your daughter it's easy for her to fall into depression and of course that would now be another <laughs> another you know ballroom that we would have to you know walk into and deal with so i told myself i wasn't going to do that so guys did my talk work yes it did so eventually my daughter started menstruating uh, nine months to her 14th birthday and i'll tell you guys when she became 11 that she was not menstruating i said it wasn't a problem when she entered when she became 12 she had not started menstruating i was like but then i reminded myself that our bodies are different so when she became 13 i was scared i was scared i remember telling my sister that if at the end of the year she did not see her menstruation then i was going to have to take her to go see a pediatrician and she told me no 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 you just hold on that was when she told me that she didn't start menstruating to the age of 14 that as a matter of fact some girls don't even menstruate till they get to 16 so let me watch and see and like i said some months to her 14th birthday although she's not yet 14 she'll be 14 august so technically january this year my daughter saw her menstruation and honestly the manner at which she went about it made me know that i did a good job of educating her i did a good job of having that conversation because she was so you know what's the word to use what's the word to use when somebody's prepared she knew that when something like that happened she was not supposed to panic she knew she was not supposed to go you know running up and down looking for help she knew what exactly it was that this is the stage this is the stage for menstruation and she knew how to you know put it on and another thing is that when you start menstruating she knows that i need to keep my body clean I need to dispose of my pampas. Uh, I need to dispose of my sanitary way. I'm not supposed to, you know, just leave it for every other person to see. And another thing, most importantly, is that she knows that she can get pregnant at any point in time if she doesn't understand her body, if she doesn't understand what menstruation is all about. And of course, we are still trying to study her circle so that she is prepared. Now, I understand that another reason why we, or rather our parents, our mothers didn't have that conversation about menstruation with us is that most times when you talk about menstruation, the conversation usually ends in your daughter's sexual you know, health. Now, I'm not saying that if you don't have that conversation with your daughter she will not be promiscuous and at the other end i am not saying that if you have that conversation with your daughter by preparing her for it that she's going to be promiscuous everything boils down to discussion so now that we have tackled the stage of you know having that conversation with her about menstruation we have started having the conversation of her sexuality we started having the conversation conversations about sex because whether you like it or not, 
your kids are growing and they are going to grow into the society that they are in they are ladies they are guys so you have to prepare them or i personally feel that i have to prepare her because come what may that time will definitely come so guys this is how i prepared my daughter for menstruation i'd love to know how you guys were prepared for menstruation did you have the conversation or are you planning to have that conversation with your daughters or you're already having the conversations with them i'd love to hear about it in the comment section and thank you guys if you sticked around with me to the end of this video it's a beautiful 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 conversation to have nothing is dirty about it nothing is a crime it's not a cause i know that sometimes as parents you are going to be shy just imagine yourself talking about your daughter's menstruation maybe years before it starts i i, I understand but mothers when it comes to raising daughters raising children there's nothing shy about it there's nothing dirty about it there's nothing secretive about it you just have to be open about it because either way they are going to have it so guys thank you for watching this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you have not if you haven't subscribed to the channel what are you waiting for please subscribe go watch my previous videos please do engage that's another beautiful thing please I love you to comment about the particular video or the specific topic on the ground that way the algorithm knows that it should shoot this video out to the people that are most interested in conversations like this thank you and i'll see you guys another beautiful day